half of the nation's 9.3 million citizens have received both doses and the country is now ready to vaccinate adolescents as soon as authorities approve the vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. I'm joined live now by Dr Michael Hal Berthal. He's director of the Ramban Medical Centre in Israel. Doctor, thanks so much for your time. What do you put the success in Israel down to when it comes to the vaccine rollout? There is no doubt that the success uh, of, of the vaccination is the, 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 the way that we manage re to recruit the citizens of Israel to, to do the, the, the actual uh, vaccination. And I think that, uh, for instance, at Rambam, uh, the first one that was vaccinated was myself. Uh, and, and I think that uh, this is why, and, and lots of the media, and the fact that we had uh, so many uh, uh, patients and death mortality in Israel, uh, I think that this is what made the difference, and, and people just went and vaccinated. And another thing, the infrastructure that was done, that the, the vaccination was very close to home. Nobody needs to run and really efficient. And we managed to vaccinate about 200,000 people a day. And what's the efficacy of the vaccine in the real world? Now that a big part of your population has been vaccinated, what has the impact been on the number of infections? So, so there's no doubt. Uh, what we see uh, around the country when we had about 1,400 people ventilated in, in, in a critical condition, now we have 200. And uh, when we had uh, about uh, more than 10,000 new cases a day uh, at the rate of, uh, of uh, positive uh, 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 confirmed cases of about more than 10 percent, now we have uh, three, 400 patients a day, and the, uh, and the rate of, of uh, confirmed cases is less than 1 percent. So, so, and we see in the hospital, uh, we had a few, just a few weeks ago, uh, uh, 120 patients in the ward. Now we have 19. So, so the effect is, is quite obvious. Uh, and when we see now what's happened around the country, hardly any of the people that are uh, being hospitalized uh, uh, were vaccinated. So, uh, so the vaccination works. There's no doubt with that. And, Doctor, have you got a sense of how large a percentage of the population you will be able to vaccinate? How many will uh, take the vaccination? Do you have a percentage of sceptics in Israel who will refuse? So, you said at the beginning, Israel is about 9.3 million people. We already vaccinated over 5 million people. Now, uh, the, about almost 1 million, 850,000 uh, confirmed cases, and now we are also vaccinating them, one vaccination. Now, Israel is a young country and lots of children. About 2.5 million of our population are children. So if you do all the calculation and all the mathematics, we have now somewhere less than 1 million people, so less than 10 percent of the population that did not vaccinate yet. So, uh, and I hope now that, uh, as we heard yesterday, we are using the Pfizer vaccination that there is also for, for adolescents, and I'm sure that once we get all the uh, approval, we will also uh, vaccinate them. And, and I think that the, we, we, the, the, the issue of, of uh, 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 people that do not want to uh, be vaccinated is extremely uh, low. Well, that's good. And we wish you all the best for the, uh, the future and your efforts in vaccinating the population. Congratulations in what you've achieved thus far. Dr. Michael Hal Berthal, Director of the Rumbum Medical Centre in Israel. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, and we wish you just the same. We, we know that after one vaccination, and we show that in, in also in the literature, 96% of the people below 60 become uh, immunised. So, so we, we just need to go and do that. And, and, and I think this is the solution for around the world, at least in the meantime.